So when you're presented with a question involving multiple triangles, so you'll have one inside the other or whatever the case may be, start with the triangle which provides the most information. That's the key here. Okay, so you should see three triangles actually. But we only focus on the right triangles, right? We focus on the, like there's the big one outside. You'll be able to solve that in grade 12. If you have me, I'll show you how to do that. It's fun. But right now you should see that there's a small triangle here, a small triangle there. Okay. And the question is ultimately asking you for this stretch right here. Okay, which, by the way, is not six. Okay. So you should start here, then find the side that they share, that they have in common. And then you'll be able to transition over to here. Okay, so we will start with this one here. I'll just draw it quickly. And this is eight and six. And because X is already taken, we're gonna call this Y. Okay. So if you think about it, Y is a leg, right? We're missing a leg because the, the hypotenuse is given here. So when you're missing a leg, you take that one, you square it, and then it's 8 squared minus 6 squared. You got to make sure you subtract from the hypotenuse. So subtract that other leg from the hypotenuse. Then you go y is equal to, you go square root, write that down first, and then calculate this using your calculator. Okay, so if you have one like mine, I go 8x2 minus 6x2, which you know is 36, and you get 28. And if there are decimals, you add the decimals, okay, everything. And then you take the square root of it, and y is equal to 5.2915. Mr. Dirksen, why are you using four decimals? Because I'm not done yet. Okay. And we don't have units, so we'll just say units. I should have added units, but whatever. So this is important. This is the one they share. Okay. Now you're going to take the long one. Okay. We know that this is X. This is the side that you've just found, right? Which comes in here, right? You found the one that they share in common here. So I'm going to actually highlight that, right? This is the one they share. And it's the same one here, okay? So this is 5.2915. And this is 13. And now it's all over again. Missing what? We're missing a leg again. Okay, so it's going to be x squared, you take the hypotenuse, and you subtract that other leg from it. x will be the square root of whatever that is. So watch how I'm going to do this. 13 squared minus... 5.2915 squared. And you get 141 exactly. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. But it's... Um, I wouldn't... Like if you stopped at four decimals, I'd leave it like that. But I'm going to leave that on my calculator and just take the square root of that. And you get 
11.87 units. So this is easily a three mark question, okay? Another example. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll let you do this one here. Uh, in this case, I'll give... Uh, So copy that example. All right. I'm going to go over it. See how you did. I'm gonna lower all of your hands. There you go. Don't want to get tired, right? Not letting me for some reason. There it is. All right. Okay. So I don't know. Out of the two triangles, you have a question, Patrick? Okay. Out of the two triangles, this is the one that you should be picking, okay? So this is my number one here. And so to work with number one, if you wanna sketch it or not, that's up to you. I would maybe recommend you do that so you know which one is which. This is 1.52, 1.75. And notice that this is the one they're sharing here, right? This is the side that they're sharing, those two triangles, so that's the one you wanna focus on, right? And so here, I would call this Y, you can call it Z, whatever you want, but I'm missing the leg, right? So watch, this is as simple as it gets, okay? This is the shortcut. Y is equal to square root, so I'm skipping one of the steps from before. Y is equal to square root. You're going to have to square root no matter what at the end. Now the question is, are you going to add or subtract? You're going to subtract, right? Because you're missing a leg. So it's 1.75 squared minus 1.52 squared. And, and uh, here I would urge you to be very careful. Watch what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take square root and figure out what this is. 1.75 squared minus 1.52 squared is 0 0.7521. Okay, that's inside the square root. Now you need to square root it so it's 0 
and we are in inches, right? So there you would have scored one mark already uh, on, a, on a test, right? Just getting that one. So with the second triangle here, this one, right? I now found, right? I found this side that they both share. So this is 0 0.8672. This is 0 0.75. And I want X. X is the hypotenuse. So watch this. Always. You're always going to have to take the square root at the end if you want to find the answer anyway. So you might as well just get it done and over with. Now you're going to have to add these two. But always remember to square. Okay. You're going to have to square. So then you enter that. Right. 0.75 squared plus 0.8672 squared. That's that. So I'm going to actually take the time just in case. 3, 1, 4, 5 if you want to just use four decimals. Then take the square root. Don't forget that. That's 1.15. 1 1.15 1 of an inch. So there's your final, final answer, okay? So that's how you do uh, those types of questions. I'm just looking at, I think most of them are gonna do that, yeah. Okay, so um, what I want you to work on next, and I'm gonna give you different ones tomorrow, work on multi this is what it's called so if you want to look for it already multi-step pythagorean problems but watch what it says there i don't want you to do that this is what it looks like it says find the area. You're going to scratch that, right? Um, what we're going to always find is the missing side, essentially. Okay? So the first four are just basic. I'm not even going to tell you what to do. It's just four triangles, use Pythagorean theorem. Actually, the first five. But follow... And I'm going to post this in a bit for, for those of you who don't have the handouts yet. So, for example, if you see a triangle like this, what they're essentially asking for is that missing side. So they're asking for this here. Okay. Um, if you look at question seven, what they're essentially asking there is for for you to find this side and for you to find this side right here, like the Y from here to here, okay? What they're asking in question eight is essentially to find this and this, okay? So you're basically finding the missing pieces that are not given there, okay? So uh, I will leave this up for a bit so that you can actually write down uh, what it is they're asking you for. If you're online, just hold on, I'm uh, just getting it. If you don't have this yet. So look for that worksheet that says multi-step if you have it already. Just looking for it. 
There it is. Oh yeah, yeah. You can use your notes, you can, everything goes there. 